This is a front door post from Tom's Bronco Parts. And if you're in the market for these, you will have noticed that Tom, Tom's, has discounted these and marked them as blemished. Not because there's anything particularly wrong with the finish of it, but because they are manufactured incorrectly. They were going to order from another vendor, but those are also manufactured incorrectly. So what is wrong with them? Well, this angle, if you can imagine there's a plane here, this angle, it comes out to about 4.3 degrees. It's supposed to be at like 7.6 degrees or 7.8 degrees. Well, let's go to the workbench and I'll show you what needs to be done. I got the kick panel off. Um, this is the passenger side. So and this keys in where I think it's supposed to here. You can see this line. This, this line is where I determined this flange needed to sit using the measurements off of my original body and just figuring it out. And what's interesting is the video Phil sent me says it should come right up to the edge of that circle. So I'm going to go check that on the old body right now. But it gives me some confidence because I know I need to spread this out. 94.6. And it needs to be closer to... Uh, it's 94.6. And it needs to be closer to like 7.88. Sorry. 98. Right? Because I'm going more than 90. So 8 degrees twice the angle. I did some calculations online because I don't remember trigonometry, but the difference between 4.5 degrees and 8 degrees, you know, is between a quarter inch and half an inch or more of, of difference here. And that pulls all, I mean, it's like, hopefully this solves all my issues. We'll see. Yeah, sure enough. You see that? The flange goes right on the edge of this hole, maybe uh, an eighth of an inch off of that, uh, that locating hole. Let's see what the other side looks like. Uh, this one's a little closer, actually. It's like right on that that locating hole. I guess the bullet point of this PowerPoint presentation is that if you key this in properly here and you stretch this backside out to the point where it's close to the locating hole, you're you're going to be close. I'm using eight degrees as my target because that's what Phil told me, and Phil's a scout guy, so he can't possibly be wrong, but. It's obviously going to be different for every Bronco, and I figure stretching it will probably get me close to that 8. Anyway, I can't measure it on mine because the bracing's in the way. I don't want to take the bracing off just to measure that flange. I'm going to trust Phil. Let's get to work. So why am I doing this side, right? Well, this is the side. These are your captive, your captive brackets for um, the backers for where your uh, hinges sit. And so you can't open up that side. It's got to be this side where it keys in. And I've seen pictures of other vendors um, where the feet actually come out and they don't attach here. The feet attach onto, like you weld them to the rocker or the key panel. But it doesn't matter. They still have the same problem, even though the internal construction is different. So there's eight spot welds here. I find that if I don't drill a decent pilot hole that the uh, spot weld cutter walks on me. So then the question is, can I spread this housing to where it needs to be? So I'm the big screwdriver here. I feel like mangling new sheet metal, huh? The reason I'm doing it this way is I don't really feel like drilling out the... the old spot welds. So if I don't have to, I'm not gonna. This seems to be working. Okay, 
So I'm going to use a little bit more. Voila. And you can see my spacing. Is, you try to replicate my results. 11 sixteenths of an inch, which makes sense because that's about how far off it is. So there's also a problem where the weld nuts, these weld nuts here, these two, not these two, but these two, they interfere with this now. I chewed this one up just tightening the nut and I was wondering why that nut, that bolt was going in so hard. Yeah, now the question is how am I going to fill this gap, right? Um, so I'm going to clearance this and then we got to address how am I going to fill this gap. I have, to fill this gap, I have some of this stuff here, which like, if I cut it and squeeze it down, I can make like a wedge. Um, and and uh, I think that would work. See that? Some ideas. like that and then spin that in like that and wedge it in there. It's actually not a bad fit. Obviously cut off the excess and then weld that in there and just spot weld to that. I think that's what I'm going to do. Just got to do it uh, three more times plus four on the other side. I just realized I can't really test fit it the way it was, so what I'm doing is I'm basically making a box here. That's my wedge, once it's all welded up. Stuff that in there. And then I'm going to test for it now, and if it's still angles too, if it's forcing it out too much, I can just take some more off of that wedge. But that looks that looks okay actually. So that wedge is good. Squeeze that down. So actually, the reason that was not sitting down was because it was rocking, and the way I figured that out was I put it up and I. Try to push it down. I notice it rocks. And usually, rocking is hung up somewhere. It's hung up right here. So I clearance this just a touch. Yeah, ninety-eight point seven. So I mean, close enough for a Bronco. Thank you, Phil, for walking me through um, how you did it. Please comment below if you think that uh, I screwed something up. And to all my viewers watching this, make sure you read below in the comments and see if Phil says any warnings or, hey, make sure you do this or that because he's the expert. I'm just a tourist trying to make it look a little pretty. Um, obviously, when you're doing this, you're going to be welding inside a prepped panel. So make sure that you prime inside and paint inside to prevent it from getting rusty. For my wedges, um, the raw steel, so I'm probably going to acid etch them and uh, and and then prime them so they'll be nice and uh, durable for at least as long as I'm alive. Gavin over there might uh, might need to redo this in 30 or 40 years, but it'll last until then. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like if this helped you out on your Bronco build, and see you next time on Matt's Garage. Mm -hmm.